All right, now what we're going to do is make three planes. Notice my viewport is really big. I make a plane that's really small, but my grid is really big. What I want to do is show you under settings and preferences, preferences. Let's get all on the same scale. It's very important. So we're going to be using linear centimeters in this case. Though I am an American, I still use centimeters only because it's easier to uh, use it in Maya because of the there's these things called far and near clipping planes. And to closely match those near and far clipping planes, it's very easy to have it in centimeters and not set those up. I'll show you how to set the near and far clipping planes in later lessons. Okay, So maybe you can model in inches instead. Okay, so in here, what I'm going to do is make this as big as the grid and middle mouse button click and drag the top material to it and hit 6 on the keyboard. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is take and duplicate this using Command D or Control D and then rotate it just a little bit. Only rotate it a little bit because then you can go into the channel box and do it more accurately. In this case, I want to take this and rotate it in 90 degree increments. I don't know what this is as far as the view of it. So I can look in my orthographic view to find out that that is the side. Okay, so now I can middle mouse button click the side to the side. If I go here, I can hit 6 on the keyboard. 6 on the keyboard. I'm going to run into some issues here. I can see it already, but we'll rectify that here in a little bit. Okay. The next thing I want to do is get my last view, and that is Command D again. And I can rotate this around. And this time I'm going to attach my front to it. And this time 90 degrees on there allows me to rotate this around. Okay, now that I have all three um, textures in here, let's meet me back in the next video where I show you how to align views the correct way.